Come on, I It's Gray from Akazashi's Tea House over in Japan. How are you doing? Are you good? Are you Genki? Are you as Genki as me? I'm buzzing, as you can tell by my voice, because I've just read the latest issue of Batman. It's issue 129. Came out today, Tuesday, November 11th. I'm going to say 11th then. Tuesday, November the 1st, and it's priced at 4 99 You get the main Batman story, which is Failsafe, part 5, and you get a backup story, also written by Chip Zdarsky, which is telling the story of the Batman of Zur NR, year one. Great uh, little story, that, and a nice different art style with a different artist. Okay, so... Is this issue any good? Is it worth buying? Can't you tell by my voice by how much um, I'm, how excited I am, how genki I sound? This is yet another fantastic issue in this Chip Zdarsky Jorge Jimenez run. It's as I said, it's part five. I can't believe it, part five already, and we are flying through this story. So much is happening. There's so much action. It's kind of blowing my mind, and a lot happens in this issue. Of course, we get to see Batman, who's fled kind of fled to Atlantis to get help from Aquaman, Arthur Curry. There's some awesome Aquaman action in this issue. Wow, that was really hard to say. And it's good to see that. We see Failsafe tracking Batman down. Batman leaves the planet. He's off to the moon. He's gone to the Watchtower. I th I'm not that clued up on that, but I think that's a Justice League thing, the Watchtower. Failsafe tracks him down there, of course, because, you know, he knows Batman's every move. Then we see... An incredible like 9 or 10, it could even be 11 page extended action sequence with Failsafe fighting Batman on the moon in the Watchtower. It's so good. I can't wait till you see it. You're going to love it. Just let me show you a little bit of the interior art. This is one image that's blew my mind by Jorge Jimenez. Look at this. Look at Batman there holding this huge energy weapon. It looks a bit like Mr. Freeze's gun, but it's not. It's some kind of electronic charging weapon, which he's hoping is going to slow Failsafe down. Can he do it? Will he do it? Has he even got a chance? You'll have to read the issue to see. Okay, as usual, I'll give you um, some of the issues, a kind of short story summary. I'm not going to spoil too much. I'm not going to show the second half of the issue in this one. Um, please keep watching. Here we go. As the issue opens, we're told that Gotham City has been locked down by failsafe. Nobody in, nobody out. Then the second page, we've got this gorgeous image here of failsafe standing atop a building, searchlights behind him. Failsafe, part five. In the last issue, Bruce managed to get out of Gotham. Now he's in Atlantis with Aquaman. Aquaman's asking, what is this thing? It's my fault, Arthur. My subconscious created Failsafe. He knows my plans, he knows my moves. He's faster and stronger than I am, by design. And here we learn that Alfred was in charge of deactivating it in case of false alarms. But of course, with Alfred gone, there was no one there to stop it. Arthur accuses Bruce. You've endangered Atlantis, Bruce and you're killing Gotham. He's right. Failsafe has Oracle under his control. He also has all the members of the Bat family captured, imprisoned. He's coming, says Nightwing. He's gonna kick your ass. Failsafe gets Oracle to check on the activity of all metahumans, especially those with associations with Batman. And he soon discovers the only one with no activity is Arthur Curry, Aquaman. Back in Atlantis, and some of the Atlanteans are questioning Aquaman's decision. Your friend? Why don't we just hand him over? We don't want Failsafe destroying our city. Aquaman tells him to defend Batman, no matter what. Failsafe attacks and fires some kind of projectile weapon at Aquaman. He threatens that if they come any closer, he'll destroy him. All he wants to know is where Batman is. They quickly tell him, but when Failsafe goes to check, Batman is gone. It turns out Batman's no longer on Earth. He's in the Watchtower on the moon. Here, he's hoping to buy time to figure out a way to stop Failsafe. But wait, an authorized vessel approaching. No life forms detected. Damn it, it's too soon, I'm not ready. This is followed by a brilliant action scene that stretches over 11 pages. You've got Failsafe attacking Batman and Batman trying to defend himself. Have a look at this page here. How cool is that image of Batman holding this kind of gun? It's an electronic gun. It fires some kind of electric charge. Will it be enough to stop Failsafe? Okay, I'm going to end my story summary here. Just show a couple more pages. Look at the action by Jorge Jimenez. Fantastic art. Great writing by Chip Zdarsky as well. 
Okay, I want to show just a few pages from the backup story, which is also written by Chip Zdarsky. It's got art by Leonardo Romero. I love the different art style here. This is basically the Batman of Zur NR, Year One, and it's called I Am a Gun, Part Two. Look at the art. What do you think of the different style compared with um, Jorge Jimenez? So cool. I love the way he draws the, the Joker here and the Batman of Zur NR. Whew, another cracking issue. Tell you, this run, this run is blowing my mind. Okay, let me show you two of the variant covers which I think are, are fantastic. Gorgeous artwork. This first one's by Francesco Martina and it's the Batman of Zur NR, as you can see. And the second one I want to show is the one by Jock. Look at that. Such a minimal use of colour, but beautiful. Defined like a muscular tone on Batman. The, the use of the black and yellow. Oh, mate. I'd love to get copies of both of those. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the, the story and the video. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, this is Grey from Wakizashi's Tea House signing off for the night. Matane. Wakizashi's Tea House. Please subscribe.